CDC looks to be practical and provide support wherever we can to our portfolio companies. We do this a number of different ways. One way is our workshop programme where we bring people together to talk about common challenges, common ways they can create value in their portfolio. Speaking from a DFI few, a few points, like we have we have in-house knowledge, right, when it comes to ENS. But we see, uh, what we see and what we come across is that there is a lack of knowledge within our portfolio companies and we want to strengthen that and that's also why we encourage our portfolio admins to portfolio companies to uh, participate in these workshops. It's quite um, sort of timely, this um, the CDC training, in particular around gender, climate change and also governance. I mean, these are increasingly big issues that we face in our markets. You know, we we are primarily in Sub-Saharan Africa, where environmental and social regulatory frameworks are normally quite weak. And so it's quite helpful to come here and share best practice, uh, in particular on women empowerment, for example. It's been a big agenda for us this year because we're working in a market where we don't have a lot of capacity on some of these issues. It's great to have, you know, to come here and hear some best practice and share with others what are the key issues that we need to be thinking about. So I'd say, I'd say the most important lesson uh, for us um, coming out from CDC's uh, ENS workshops has been, the, has been to look at ESG, um, not only through the lens of risk mitigation, which is of course incredibly important, um, but equally important is looking at it through the lens of opportunity and value add. The ultimate point is we're trying to give people new skills, new ways of talking, new confidence to go back to wherever they work and do something a little bit differently. Now, that whether that might be introducing a new human resources policy, or whether it might be different ways of including workers in consultation with management, or whether it might be a new approach to the private equity fund to climate. ESG people in funds often operate in, in a silo. Um, and it's like almost a little bit lonely because you're the only ESG person in the fund. Uh, so it's really nice to have that contact and that skill and expertise to work with. The training is useful for people within funds, but also within portfolio companies. And from today's, it's also board members. And so it covers a whole range of different topics and is incredibly useful.